Oh, I am back with you. Hello, I'm Alessandro Bonatoni, and welcome to Food 101. Food, 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 people. Let's talk about food. Oh, Shafi, Christmas is near. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> almost, 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 almost. Almost, almost, people. Merry Christmas and a blessed, uh, a prosperous New Year to everyone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Chef and I are so grateful for this year because our podcast, there's a lot of milestones. Yes. Let's do recite them, shall we? Number one, we got our one million download. Yes. And we're counting for two million. Of course, we are counting for our. <laughs> of course, we don't give up. Of course. Yeah, two million downloads. <laughs> okay, number two. Well, our listen score of 41 and we belong to 1.5 popular show globally by listen notes. Imagine that's all lots of milestones this year. Plus, our books are out. Not only one, but 13 volumes, people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is Food 101 Volume 1 Basics until 12. Is only the books that you need how to create a delicious food. Uh, yes. Imagine <laughs> this year, I told you we have a lot of milestones. And of course, we are now on number 16 of the best food podcasts on the planet. We're aiming for the top 10 people, but sooner or later, we are aiming for that. Uh, we're going to reach, we're going to reach. Uh, no problem. Of course. <laughs> of course yes. We're going to reach. Of course, we're going to reach that. Chef and I have uh, faith uh, faith in you and, of course, of both of us <laughs> that we can reach our goals because we are dedicated to do this every week. Yes. So we have a we lot got of We got no day off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing. Even we are so busy, busy. We have time to do this because we are dedicated to talk about food, food, food. That's correct. So, Shafi, how Soto Soto this Christmas? Ah, uh, busy, busy. This is uh, last week of uh, Christmas uh, oh, <laughs> parties. So, oh, yeah, it's uh, crazy, 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 crazy. Uh, we are happy, we are happy, we're very happy. You know, business doing good, so that's good. That's good. Yes, busy, busy for the business means booming. Uh, ah, yeah. that'd be awesome. So, Shafi. This is already our fourth season. Yes. I already, yes. Uh, our fourth season, people, already started last week. So we are counting this episode that this is considered as our second episode for our fourth season. Jeff and I are trying to, uh, to do our best to make our podcast bigger. Better. And Boulder, of course. Yes. And the fourth season, we are uh, hoping that next year we're having our culinary course. <laughs> we try our best. We know people are going to know that we work <laughs> during the week too. Huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then we are planning to have our Food 101 website through Facebook, Instagram, and any uh, social media platform so that uh, people will learn our pro our podcast because it's been four years people that we are doing this yes. food 101 food 101 is already uh, on the fourth year so we are really dedicated to what we are doing and we have yes. a lot and we have a lot of milestones to celebrate. Today we got uh, the squash soup, herb crust ribs, sauté green beans with almonds, and eggnog cheesecake. Set of menu, people. Something to consider this holiday. Uh, 
so let's Sheffy, let's start with the soup. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, soup, soup, soup. I love uh, squash, so especially in winter time and uh, autumn time. You know, it's uh, uh, squash time. You know, it's uh, butternut squash, it's uh, acorn squash, it's uh, pumpkin. So it'll be everything. You know, <laughs> so. But the best that I love is uh, to make a butternut squash soup. That's uh, my favorite. Anyway, for as a winter winter squash soup. It's very simple, you know, you got olive oil, onion, uh, salt, uh, your butternut squash, peel and seeds, of course, and um, garlic, of course, uh, sage, rosemary, that I always never miss in my kitchen, of course, and uh, fresh ginger, I like it on it, absolutely, and uh, vegetable broth or water, depends what you, what you have on your uh, on your end, anyway, and uh, of course, black uh, black pepper or and salt, of course. So very simple. You just uh, chop your onion, uh, you peel your garlic, you uh, put your nice pot, you put some uh, olive oil in, uh, virgin olive oil, and you just uh, uh, make your onion and garlic a little bit golden color. Then you add your butternut squash, peel it, seeded, and cube it. Then you put it inside, and you cook for, uh, you know, five, 10 minutes, uh, don't even 10 minutes, uh, even less, because it's a very soft uh, squash. And uh, you put your sage, your rosemary, a little bit ginger, and then after that, you put your broth, and you let it cook for half an hour, uh, as long as it needs to be nice and soft. And then uh, you may cool down a little bit, and then you blend it. And, uh, and voila, you put it back in uh, your pot. You boil up at the moment, and we serve it with nice garlic bread or garlic bread with cheese, whatever you like. There we go, the, your soup of the day. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, Chevy, if I don't have a squash, can I replace with the other kind of vegetables? Let's say Wait, pumpkin. Sweet potato? Sweet potato? <laughs> potato or pumpkin? Yeah, pumpkin, yes. No problem, of course. Yeah, potato, pumpkin, you can use zucchini if you want it. But okay. I always like to follow the season. And uh, for me, you know, to use zucchini in the winter would be a little bit... <laughs> but, but you know we had to use it sometimes and uh, yeah but uh, of course you know we got so many especially in Canada we got so many kind of different squash you know and uh, you guys the beautiful pumpkin and it's the best time of the year you know for, for using this uh, beautiful product and yeah you can change it you can change uh, even with the sweet potato if you want it eh? why not yes yes people if you don't have the budget to have the squash or you don't have the squash, you may change to other available option that is good for you, that's good for your budget, it, that is available to the kitchen. Yes. So, Shafi, let's do the main course. What will be our main course today? The main course, we have the herb crust rib. Yes, a nice prime rib. And uh, uh, for the, uh, I like to brush and let it marinate all night long the ribs with the, the uh, nice uh, uh, herb that I mix together. It's uh, parsley, thyme, rosemary, garlic, salt, pepper, and uh, olive oil. I mix together, chop roll, mix together, and then I just spread it brush on top of the at the uh, prime ribs usually you know like uh, about six to eight pounds uh, uh, prime rib and uh, let it stay all night long i wrap it with the uh, with the uh, uh, with the uh, wrap it the paper wrap and uh, with the plastic wrap and uh, let it stay all night long in the fridge. The next day, I just take it out, let it keep it in, uh, for room temperature for half an hour, and then I put it in the in the oven with uh, you know some uh, garlic, some uh, you know some onion beside, you know, just to give a little bit more flavor on it, and uh, let it roast in the oven. And 
you know, it's going to take, you know, depends on the temperature we use, but usually if you preheat it over at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, you're looking at, you know, maybe three to four hours the, uh, uh, the, um, for the kind of six to eight pound uh, prime rib. And now the after you, you just, uh, when it's cooked, you take it out, let it stay for half an hour, you know, 45 minutes outside. You, you So you can slice and you can, uh, you know, serve with a nice uh, uh, demi-glaze or just, uh, you know, playing like this you know, is, is good too anyway. Yes, definitely. It depends definitely how you is. want it. How you want to cook even the 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 prime ribs, of course. You know the, the, the different. Uh, you know if you want a, a rare, if you want medium rare, if you want medium, medium well. So you're looking at rare. Uh, at the temperature the inside temperature is going to be around uh, 120, 125. Uh, medium rare 130, 35. Uh, medium 140, 145. Uh, but of course, you gotta remove from the oven at least 10 degrees before reach the 140, 145, or the 130, 135, or 150, 155, depending what kind of because you know it, when you rested for you know half an hour, you know, outside, it's gonna finish cooking the, 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 the beef. So you need a little bit time to rest, and then, then after you it's nice and juicy. I suggest you know medium rare, or it's uh, for me it's my uh, favorite anyway. But, uh, you know, some people don't like to see too much uh, juice coming out. So, you know, one medium, 140, 145 is good. You know, and uh, that's it. You serve it with a nice uh, demi glaze and uh, the side dish we're going to talk after. <laughs> <laughs> yes, people, uh, tips if you're doing the raw crusted prime rib, don't forget to rest it because if you don't rest it, oh, it will be giving you a mess. So, Shafi, but before we go on, we want to shout out to the people listening to our ranking clubs in the last 30 days. So, we are so very happy, people, because in Luxembourg, we are number one on the Apple chart. Thank you very uh, much. Wow, that's amazing. I'm so, so happy. Yes, Imagine Luxembourg, one of the rich countries in the world. And we are number one on the Apple chart. Wow, thank so you. Much. Thank you. Chef uh, and I are more eager to do this uh, podcast better, as we said, bigger and bolder. And in Canada, we're number nine. Chefy, Senegal at number 26. Kuwait at number 38. United Kingdom at 64. Republic of Korea, 95. Czech Republic, 135. India, 213. And Japan, 215. Thank you so much for supporting this podcast because this podcast is created to empower food, food, food people. And Jeff and I are discussing our Christmas menu that you will well consider to prepare for this holiday season. Well, we, we give it some uh, some suggestion. Then after, you know, they can mix it up all together and do something about it. But yes. yeah, yeah, uh, you know, uh, I've always tried to organize uh, good, you know, like like this week we went uh, with my wife and we went out and, uh, you know, just to get ready for, uh, because, you know, I'm working uh, <laughs> almost all week. Eh? And, yeah. I don't have too much time to cook, eh? but you know, you, I want to make it sure we're gonna have a nice Christmas, you know, and have a nice uh, Christmas dinner at least together. And uh, let's see, yes. let's see. Yes, definitely. And this uh, menu that we are discussing, suggesting people, if you don't plan yet or you still uh, have the second thought of what you gonna serve for this holiday. Well, listen to our, I think this is our the third episode that we're talking about Christmas yes. recipes. Yes. So the, listen to our previous episode. If you want a uh, idea that you gonna serve for this season. But Sheffy, before uh, we go through our next topic, I'm inviting you to grab a copy of my latest bestsellers audiobook. 
And okay, Shafi, let's go to the side dish. Another uh, for another side for... dish, a very easy one. You know, green beans with the garlic and almond, or just the almond if you want it. But uh, so the green beans. It's uh, another classic, uh, uh, very simple uh, recipe to do. You just uh, you know, uh, you need your beans. Uh, you need your. Um, uh, garlic, uh, uh, olive oil, uh, black pepper, uh, if you want, some people put some brown sugar on it, uh, I don't, but you know, you know, some people like it, and uh, the slice uh, almond, uh, if you toast it, it would be best, because you know, they get a nice uh, color, and um, the the uh, the practically you boil your, your your green beans and then after uh, some people use sesame oil some people use olive oil I would prefer olive oil and um, and then you fry the, your garlic you put your saute your your beans you add uh, all your seasoning and uh, your toast almond on top that's it. Uh, Yes. Some, people, some people like to put a little balsamic vinegar too inside, eh? but uh, you know, depends on the recipes. Yes, definitely. And uh, if you don't have green beans, you can replace with snow peas, people. Oh, yes, absolutely. Snow peas, nut peas, everything. Mm, <laughs> yes, any kind that green. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> It's good for the plate, people, for the presentation. Well, eventually you can even use your asparagus if you want. You know, if you can't find green beans or you snap peas or, or snow peas, you know, you can find uh, uh, asparagus every time, every, everywhere. So, yes, definitely. And so, of course, Sefi, let's go to the dessert. Oh, yeah, dessert, dessert. We're going to talk now about. Uh, the eggnog cheesecake, you know, I love the eggnog, you know, then you can use for so many things, you can not just drinking and make, you know, uh, drinks, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you can, you can, uh, you can make lots of dessert, you know, eggnog cheesecake as an example now, but, you know, even a semi freddo, you can make even uh, mousse, uh, Bavaroa, oh my God, how many dessert you can make with that. But anyway, the eggnog cheesecake, classic, you know, you make your crust with your uh, graham cracker and uh, sugar and butter, like like uh, any kind of cheesecake. And then you wait for the filling, you get your cream cheese, your sugar, a little bit flour. Uh, if you, of course, gluten-free, uh, you can change your crackers or you can take off the flour, you can put your uh, cornstarch on it. Uh, anyway, the eggnog, you add the eggnog, you add some extra eggs, uh, a little bit of rum, no, never miss that because you really need it, uh, vanilla extract and uh, a little bit of nutmeg, and we go. Then after that, you just uh, bake your cheesecake as a, as a usual, 325, uh, you know, you can, uh, depend on the size that you want, around 45 to 50 minutes. Uh, it's gonna be ready. Then when it's ready, you just take it out to make it cool down and you open up and then you can serve it with nice whipped cream and a little bit of cinnamon nutmeg for garnish. That's a classic, uh, classic uh, cheesecake, uh, eggnog cheesecake. But like I say, you know, you, with the eggnog, you can have so many things to do, so many ideas. You know, you can make so many things with eggnog, like I say, you know, you can <laughs> you can make uh, eggnog cheesecake. You can make eggnog uh, bavaroise, eggnog mousse. Uh, uh, so many uh, semi freddo. So many recipes you can make with eggnog. But you know, of course, a classic eggnog uh, cheesecake, a classic cheesecake. You need a crust. You uh, made it with the uh, graham and crackers, sugar and butter. It, you can replace if you gluten free, of course, with something else, some other cookie, gluten free cookies instead. Uh, for the feeding, uh, you get your regular uh, cream cheese, sugar, um, a couple spoons of flowers. But of course, as I say, if you gluten free, you can change with the starch and uh, eggnog, some extra eggs, uh, uh, rum. Of course, you need a ram, uh, you know, because you need it. <laughs> <for that. laughs> and uh, ground nutmeg. And then uh, uh, it's like a regular cheesecake, you know, you just spread your oven 325, you know, and, uh, 
uh, cook for 45 to 50 minutes, depending on the size and uh, that you want to make. And uh, after it's cooked, you just make it cool down, open up like usual, like a, a simple cheesecake, and uh, and then just de decorate it with some nice whipped cream and uh, uh, cinnamon and nutmeg on top. That's uh, that's a classic uh, for uh, for eggnog. But uh, like I say, you know, you can do so many things with eggnog. You know, especially you know on the Christmas day when you wake up, you want to have a nice French toast, eggnog French toast, or oh, how many things you can do with the eggnog, you know? Not just drink, that's for sure. <laughs> yes. Last week we talked about eggnog with the spirits. <laughs> yeah. Any, any kind of uh, spirit you're going to put, vodka or something that you like to mix it in. How rum, about Jeff? Rum. rum. <laughs> rum <that's laughs> How about Jeffy? Uh, eggnog tiramisu. Can we do? Oh that? yes, eventually yes. You can make that one too. Absolutely. Oh yes. That's a, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Last time you told us you did something about a modification of tiramisu. What is that again, Jeffy? Uh, for tiramisu, there is so many modifications to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do strawberry tiramisu, pistachio tiramisu, uh, as a nut tiramisu. You can make uh, uh, reg oh, regular tiramisu, of course. Uh, now, for example, eggnog, you came out with eggnog. Yeah, of course, you can make eggnog. You can make uh, a green tea tiramisu. Uh, so you can make a, a beer tiramisu with a beer. Oh my god, yes, regular. Oh, beer. oh that's good. It's <laughs> something good. else. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we can we can have one day talking about we can stay one day talking about tiramisu for sure. <laughs> you know, give you so many yeah. ideas, so many recipes. But once once you open up, we open up this uh, you know Facebook and uh, you know all this uh, 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 media, we can put it on some more uh, recipe over there. We can put some uh, video. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Everything's oh. going to come up in the 2024, right, guys? Ah, wait, wait for us, wait for us. Yes, people, because our uh, season four will be, uh, as we said, bigger. Better and bolder. But yeah, I will say you and fancy too. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And uh, watch out for our culinary course uh, next year, year because it's already almost new year so Shafi let's do the recap about what we talk about today yeah today we talk about uh, one more course of Christmas so we have a butternut squash soup we uh, we talk about the herb crust prime rib we talk about the sauté green beans with the almond and for a finish, a nice dessert, eggnog cheesecake. That's our menu of the day. Uh, we add to all the other menu that we talked uh, last few weeks. And uh, I think, uh, hey, you guys, lots of job to do at home to prepare all these dishes, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you decided already, people, what you gonna cook or you got what you gonna what prepare for the season, uh, you start to get all your ingredients, start to go to the market and list all the things that you need for this coming season. And we are highly recommended this set of menu. It's highly recommended because Chef and I are doing this superb set of menu. <laughs> <laughs> and more and more set of menu to come until this holidays finish. And oh, please, yes, yes. please do grab a copy of our volume 13 people Christmas recipes. If you want the full package, from Christmas menu, Christmas appetizer, Christmas uh, main course, and Christmas dessert. It's a it's a complete package, people. If you are wondering, aside from what we are talking now, and you want more, please do grab a copy of our volume thirteen, uh, Christmas yeah. recipes. It really helps you to decide what you gonna cook for this holiday. People, thank you so much for supporting our podcast, especially in Luxembourg. Yeah, wow, uh, yes. Cool. I hope you will continue supporting this podcast because Chef and I are dedicated to make this podcast bigger, 
better and bolder. Uh, American people, see you soon. Bye-bye.